back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful flayed short gown with crinoline on the sleeves as you can see right there on the thumbnail. So this gown is actually very beautiful. Please, this is, this is what you want to learn. Please stay till the end of this tutorial. So to start off this tutorial, I'm using six yards of um, moderately stretchy fabric. Moderately stretchy fabric, not too stretchy. So this is a beautiful moderate fabric that is stretching. I'm going to use it to cut out the flay of this dress. So out of these six yards, I'm going to cut out three yards. Okay, so we'll be using the three yards for the bodies and another three yards for the sleeves. Okay, so I'll quickly cut out three yards out of six yards right now. So now this is my three yards. Okay, so the other three yards, I've separated it from the whole six yards so i'm going to put the three yards on fold when i start putting the three yards on fold the next thing i'm going to do i'll pick up the part that is on fold this part that is on fold i'm going to lay all this open part to it like this let me just turn it this way so you understand what i'm saying this is the folded part of the three yards can you see so the rest of what we have on the open part is one and a half when placed on fold. So I'm going to pick up the folded edge now. Just watch what I'm, I'm doing. And I'm going to have the folded edge folded on bias. Can you see? So if I fold it on bias, it will be like a triangle. So I'll quickly arrange it. Before we cut out the flay, you need to prepare your basic bodies. So this is my normal basic bodies. This is the shoulder line and the chest line. So after the chest line, I just added one inch from here. I added one inch. This is center front and center back. I came in by 0 0.5 and for the back and came in by 0 0.75 for the front and connected to my chest my boss divide by four on the chest line the depth of my back neckline is two inches and the depth of my front neckline is three inches because i'm working with a with a stretchy fabric and the width is three inches so i'll just simply go ahead and cut out the back so the one the part i'm cutting now is for the back and that is what i'm going to place on this pattern to cut as I place it on bias right now so I've cut out the back so we'll place it and cut out everything for the back then separate them and cut for the front so this is the center front and the center back so I'll just cut it out so now the fabric is going to be placed on bias so to place the fabric on, on bias, the three yards I cut out. If you want a longer length of this, just increase your length to four yards. But I just want it moderate for this tutorial. So the three yards, I'm going to place it on fold first. So when I fold, place it on fold, this is the folded edge. So, so I will simply pick up the folded edge and match it up to the open edge this way that is placing on bias can you see so i placed it like a triangle so i'm going to match it up like a triangle can you see so i'll quickly arrange it right now after placing it like the triangle this is a triangle we have so i'll now pick up my pattern now you can see this part is open, the part I kissed right now to form the bias part. So I'll just come and push this. The folded part, make sure it aligns. You can see how I'm aligning it. So I'm going to align the center front, center back on the folded part and secure it with my pin. So you can see how I have it. So you leave like 0 0.5 inch to attach the sleeve. So let me pin it now. Securing it with my pin right now. So 
um, I placed it center front as you can see so I'm going to cut it out now so like I said we are going to first cut the back just like we placed it we are going to first cut the back so for the back I'll add half an inch as seam allowance I'll also add half an inch right here okay then on the armhole for the back I'll add half an inch on the armhole like this but I'll just come right here and add half an inch so once I'm done with this I've already created the seam line so now I'm going to measure the length of this dress right now so I'm going to take the measurement from the shoulder so I want to cut out the length of this uh, flay so I have to turn it the other way around okay so I'll be able to get the shorter part of the flay okay that will serve as the length so from the shoulder I'll place my tape on the shoulder and I'm going to take the measurement of this flay all around so it depends on where you want it to be so after cutting out your desired length which I've, I did right now off camera by placing my tape on the shoulder to my desired length I'm going to add one inch here for my stitching allowance so you just go ahead and add one inch for your stitching allowance of course this fabric stretches so one inch should be okay to stitch it so I will take this one inch straight this way to the hem I'm going to cut it out straight to the hem at uh, that one inch so you can go ahead and mark it out you can decide to just go ahead and cut so I'm cutting but I'm maintaining the width of what I'm cutting out so you have to maintain the width of what you are cutting out so now I'm going to separate what I have for front and back so I'll keep one as front and the other as back so the one I kept now is for back so I'll go ahead and reduce the neckline for the front so I'll put it together and place, cut out my pattern once again. This is the pattern we were using. So I'll go ahead and cut the armhole for the front. Then cut the neckline. So since this fabric is stretchy, the neckline we are using is very much okay. Very much okay, unless you are working with a less uh, stretchy fabric. So here, I'll place this pattern. So let me place it this way. So make sure you arrange it appropriately. So I've done so. So I'll come back here and place it. So I'm placing it to with the one inch um 0 0.5 inch allowance we added so i'll go ahead and reduce my neckline so i reduce my neckline and from here i'll go in from the 0 0.5 inch for the front sleeve so that is it so this part will be the front so you you will need to mark it out so or the neckline will help us mark it out so i'll go back to my machine now it's actually a simple dress anyway so i'll simply join right side to right side of this on the shoulder line only that is what i'm going to do only shoulder to shoulder 
So I'll join the shoulder to shoulder, then we'll cut the sleeves and sew the crinoline to it. Cut out the sleeve of this um, dress. The remaining three yards I have here, I place it on fold again. And I'm going to also place the folded part on another fold. Okay. So that is how we are going to cut it out. So we are cutting two sleeves at once. So once you follow the way I folded it and place it on, on another fold. So now we are going to take the measurements, the radius at which we want to cut out this flip. So this flare is actually going to be cut, not at 360. We are going to cut it. I have two sleeves here, so don't, don't get yourself confused the way I folded it. So we are going to calculate the radius of where we are going to attach this flay. And then we will also measure out the length and cut out the flay for the sleeve. Now we want to start marking out the radius. So I'm marking out the radius on this part. So we are using the length of the dress. So whatever your the length of your dress is, my own length of my dress is 45 inches. I'll divide it by 3.14. If I do, I'll have 14 inches as my radius for the 180 degrees flay we are cutting out for the sleeve. Then I will use 14 uh, inches as radius. So if I do that, I'll be taking my measurements from this, from this edge I folded. I'll mark 14. From that edge, I'll mark 14. So that will be the radius of the dress. So I'll keep marking the 14, 14 inches. 14 inches. Okay. So I've marked out the 14 inches. So that will be the radius that we are going to sew all the way to the uh, dress to form the sleeve. Now the sleeve itself is, the measurement of the sleeve is 18. So I'll keep placing and be marking 18. From that radius, I'll keep marking 18 till I get to the end. So I've marked out the length completely. So since I've marked out the length, this is the line of my 18 inches. I'll go ahead and cut it out. Once I cut it out, I'll go ahead and cut out the sleeve, the radius, which we are going to attach to the sleeve. Okay, so that is it. So this part, like I said, we are separating them separately. It's 180 degrees, okay, not 360. So you just go ahead and separate it. So when you separate it, the part we notched is going to be the part that will be on the shoulder. So I'll just simply go ahead and separate them. So if I separate them, that is what we are going to use for each one. So this one, will attach it to the shoulder this way. And here, we we'll attach it to the bodies of the dress. Of course, you see how we are going to do that. So the same thing for this part as well. So this is for the right and for the left. So this is it. And this is the part we notched for the shoulder. So I'm going to sew my crinoline on the down part of it. So my crinoline, I'm using 2 inches crinoline. So I'll go back to the machine, normal way of sewing your crinoline. I'll first stitch on top of this and later hide it this way, okay? 
so I will trim up the edges and then I'll go in a little bit on the hem line so I'll go now and I'm going to run my stitches round all right people so I'm done sewing the first layer of queen nolin so you have to leave 0 0.5 inch so at the end of the day we'll use it to cover it before we top stitch on it can you see so when I cover it now the 0 0.5 inch goes in this way so I'll go over to my machine now I'll follow the stitches I have here already and top stitch so that becomes the front part and this becomes the back part let me do that so I'm done sewing the crinoline and I've given it a good press so I stitched the crinoline on both a 180 degrees plane okay so I'm going to use one to demonstrate to you how we are going to sew this to the dress so remember we made our notch right here and we have this as 180 can you see that half a circle just like we cut it and we have a desired length so I'll bring the dress right now I've already closed the seam line. So here is my neckline. So I'll just use one of these. This is the armhole. So we are going to sew the sleeve right now. So I'm going to pick up the sleeve on the notch area. You can see how I placed it. This is the shoulder seam line. I'll match it up right here. So you can see the, the sleeve with the crinoline. So I'll go ahead and sew from this notch. I'll sew it all the way to the shoulder, to the armhole this way. So I'll stitch the sleeve right now. Then I'll show you how to sew it into the bodies. So now I've sewn the sleeve from the center grain line to the armhole. So this is the flay. You have to sew it off to the end. Can you see? That is what I did on the other side. So I'll pick up the armhole, the seam, uh, armhole seam line. I'll close it as if I'm closing my sleeve. So this is the the flay so the flay has two segments this is the first one and this is the part that gets to the crinoline so i'll first sew the first one which is the completion of the flay okay so i'm going to place them side by side just as i'm closing the bodies of this dress right now so here is the flay this is the uh, the other flay that is the two of them together then i'll bring my bodies and i'm going to sew everything together so once i get to the machine now i'll start sewing at half an inch or one inch depending on the seam allowance so you can sew half an inch because this is a flay so i'll finish it up to that point then i'll show you how to finish the other part of the flay okay i'm sewing to the end of the flay so this is the other part of the flay i told you of the part that is not uh, the radius the straight part that gets to the crinoline so i'll still push it in this way okay that's why i have to show you how i did that i'll also push it in and stitch it on the seam line as well okay so I'll continue the stitches, arrange it properly, make sure you bring out the tip of the flay appropriately. Then I'm going to sew the remaining part of it. So I'll sew the remaining part of it till I get to the end of the my length. So I'll keep sewing. So you can see the sleeve attached to the main dress, okay? So this is the armhole area 
and I've stitched everything to the end of the sleeve. So you can decide to cut out depending on your length, but my length, I don't want it too short. So I have some four inches extra to this sleeve, okay? So I have the same four inches. So that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and I believe this class was helpful to you. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.